Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JWG episode 16 and tonight we're gonna kick it off with a promo uh, from the new faction called the Elite Squad which consists of the leader AJ Styles and the formerly known club as Straight Ed Society. Now let's hear what they have to say. What happened to you, AJ? I get it. Maybe your perception of me has changed. I understand that because my perception of this business has changed. But make no mistake about it. I'm better than the best in the world. I am the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, I love what I do in this ring. I have to understand that this is just a job. Maybe you can relate. So you've had that job. Your secretary in a big building at one point, sometime or another, you've been shafted by What is AJ Styles? Oh my god! Did he just attack Jason Jordan? Jason Jordan is kicked out of the group and replaced by who? I realized over the past year that I deserve better. It's Seth Rollins! Jason Jordan is replaced by Seth Rollins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a shocking way to kick off JWG, but as you can tell, we are going to continue this tournament and it is Benjamin versus Bryan to see who will qualify and who will face Carlito in this second round and here comes Daniel Bryan who hopes to win this tournament but if he wants to do that he has to get he has to get through Sheldon Sheldon Benjamin first and they square up and lock up Sheldon is trying to get the upper hand but no Daniel Bryan sneaks it and then takes down Sheldon Benjamin and goes straight for the leg oh trying to top Is Sheldon, is Sheldon gonna tap? now he touches the rope. Oh, and Daniel Bryan has to let go. Daniel Bryan looks at Sheldon. He runs to Sheldon, but no, Sheldon catches him. By there, a big knee right to the face of Daniel Bryan. Could this be the game changer? Daniel Bryan is dragged by Sheldon Benjamin. Sheldon Benjamin tosses him onto the ropes. Of Oh my goodness, and a big slap right to the back. And then a shoulder tackle right to Daniel Bryan. What a move goes for the cover. One, two, kick out. He kicks out. Dan Daniel Bryan is dragged by again by Sheldon tosses him to the corner but nope Sh um, Daniel Bryan reverses it oh and a hurricane runner right to the head of Sheldon Benjamin oh my goodness and Sheldon Benjamin knocked out and then Daniel Bryan he's getting ready he's getting ready for the running knee could this be it he waits for Sheldon Benjamin gets up Sheldon Benjamin gets up and then a running knee right to the face of Sheldon Benjamin goes for the cover one two three and Daniel Bryan will be moving on to the tournament and then, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, he will be facing Carlito in the second round. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes Dean Ambrose, who won his championship, who retained his championship in the uh, hardcore match in WrestleMania. So let's hear what he have to what he has to say. I'm not supposed to be standing here today, but I am. Homeless kids aren't supposed to graduate high school, but I did. I wasn't supposed to become a successful wrestler. I wasn't supposed to win championships and get to the top of every company I've ever walked into, but I have. All this gold, all these accolades, all these belts, and they don't mean dick. And I don't want it. What I want. There's no blood pouring out of my head, and I hear it hit the canvas with, with, with that little sound the blood makes when it hits the canvas. I like to feel my fingernails and this thing here digging into the forehead of. Who, who could this be? Could it be? Could it Brock Lesnar? The person who Dean Ambrose eliminated, the last person who Dean Ambrose eliminated to retain his title. At WrestleMania, he's finally in JWG. Oh, and then Dean Ambrose tries to handshake him, but no, Brock Lesnar is not here for that. He's here just to give a little payback to Dean Ambrose with a F5. Oh my goodness! And what is the what is Brock looking at? Oh my goodness! He looks at the title. Is this is this a sign that 
Brock wants a title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the final round, the final match for the first round, and it is Hideo Itami versus Alberto Del Rio. And here comes Alberto Del Rio, who hasn't done much besides entering that hardcore match, and we all know how that ended up. And then Alberto Del Rio is cocky as ever. And here comes Hideo Itami, who hopes to win this. And then Hideo Itami has no time to talk and drop kick to Alberto Del Rio. Hideo Itami looks at Alberto Del Rio. He grabs him and then drags him up. And then Hideo Itami oh, puts him in the corner. What is he thinking of? Going? Oh, he was going for a shoulder. Round. Oh my goodness, and a super kick right to the, the face of Hideo Itami. And then a backstabber. Oh my goodness, Alberto is not playing. He really wants an opportunity. And he w is willing to do everything he can. Oh my goodness, is it going to end here? Oh my goodness, a cross arm. A cross arm. He is giving it. He's wrenching. But no, one, two, kick out. Oh my goodness. Hideo Itami reversed it. What a smart strategy. Alberto Del Rio get, looks at Hideo and starts running. Hideo, no, but Hideo catches him. What is Hideo doing? He catches him. And a JTS right to Alberto Del Rio. Hideo Itami goes for the cover. One, two, three, and that is it. Hideo Tommy is moving on to the second round. And it, it will be Hideo Tommy versus Cesaro and Carlito versus Daniel Bryan. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready because this will be a great match for the main event. Big E versus the former JWG champion, Terry fucking Funk. And then here comes Terry. He's saying that he was a champion. Both men looking at each other. Oh, oh, tag. Terry trying to get the upper hand, but then, oh my goodness, a suplex. Oh, one, two, kick out. Oh, and then Biggie's dragging Terry Funk. And oh my goodness, look at the shoulder tackles. I think Terry is kind of regretting it. Now, oh my goodness, Terry moves out of the way. Terry goes for, oh my goodness, a corner tackle. I was in Sagari. And then a running bulldog is. His signature combo goes for the cover. One, two, kick out. Kick out by Big E. Terry Funk picks up Big E and drags him. And what is Terry Funk thinking of? What is he doing? He's looking at the top rope. He's going for it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you don't know is that Terry, is that Finn Balor made this match because Terry made his a match for Finn Balor last week. Oh my goodness, goes for the cover. One, two, kick out. And then now Finn Balor is getting a little revenge here. And then Terry, he doesn't mind though. He, oh my goodness, never mind. I thought Terry had it in the bag, but nope. Once again, the power of Biggie, oh my goodness. Overpower Terry. And speak of the devil himself. Look who is watching, Finn Balor. Biggie was going for a big ending, but Terry Funk moves out of the way. And goes for a insaguri right to Finn, right to Biggie. And then Terry grabs Biggie and the crowd is loving this. And then goes for a pile driver. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. And Terry Funk has won this match. Terry Funk won it fair and square in the Big E. Regretting the decision. Oh my goodness. And Finn. Finn with the title hitting him back of the head. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this episode. And we will see you in the next one. Good night. Goodbye. Bang.